PepLink Balance routers as well as Enterprise PepWave Max routers support the feature called AP Controller. This allows the router to easily manage multiple Wi-Fi access points from its administration page. To connect an access point, start by logging into the web administration of your router. For this balance router, we're using it is 192.168.1.1. PepWave Max routers are at 192.168.50.1. If you come across an alert page like this, this is normal. Simply proceed past to get to the login page. Click on the AP tab at the top of the page. It should default to the wireless SSID page. Find the AP controller section here, and if your router has an internal Wi-Fi access point, select external AP. If it does not, select the checkbox to enable AP management. You can adjust the sync method if needed. We're going to leave that as is. Permitted AP is where you can enter serial numbers of your access points so that only those can connect, or you can leave it at the default, which is going to allow any connected AP device to be managed. Click Save when done here. Then click Apply Changes. Next, navigate to the Settings page. This is where we can create or edit the Wi-Fi profile being applied to our access points. For quick setup, edit the default profile and adjust this as needed. You can change the frequencies the Wi-Fi broadcasts on for each of your SSIDs. You can also set preferred frequency when using both. Scroll down to the bottom of the first section to control which LAN or VLAN will be used as the access point management. The web administration settings for the external access points can be enabled from the router and will be applied along with the rest of the configuration. Just like on your router, you may adjust these settings accordingly or simply disable them so that the access points retain their device-defined credentials. We'll leave ours enabled, which uses a randomly generated password. Last on this page is the controller management setting that tells the router what to do when the device is unreachable. We're going to leave this disabled. Click Save at the bottom when done, then click Apply Changes at the top right. If needed, we can also edit our existing SSID or add new ones. The SSID we have listed here will be applied to our access points automatically, as will any newly added SSIDs. We've now completed the basic setup and can now move to the access point page at the AP tab. This is where we can check the status of our access point connections to the router. Since our balance router has an internal access point, this shows up along with our external one. If we need to make changes at any of the access points, then we can quickly access them from this page. Find the icon with the box and arrow like shown here, and it will open to the login page of that access point. All I need to do now is enter the username of admin and the router generated password from our profile under settings. It's really that simple to configure, but this is of course a basic setup. There are many more advanced features you can utilize to help avoid interference or improve performance if you run into any issues. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.